what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing a little bit of cleana in the solo lane and building like a bot uh at least it would maybe look that way i don't think this will be a bad build we're gonna have a bad early game build because i want to rush soul leader super hard try that out uh but we're messing with queen in the solo like i said in the last cleaner video at least i think i talked about it a bit it's been a few days um, I've messed with her a bit in the solo lane, just like when I got stuck in solo, but didn't try and record any, at least that I can remember. Um, actually, I might have, but like every solo game I played got F6 early, so. <laughs> so that's why I don't remember recording, is because if I was recording it, it wasn't for long. But yeah, I've played her a little bit solo, and the little bit I've, that I've played her, she feels like her level 1 sucks. Uh, I shouldn't even just say level 1, like her early game sucks. As we beat his ass, but that's only because he's goofing. Um, it's only because he's messing up, but her early game really, really sucks. She lacks a lot of wave clear. She lacks a lot of consistency. And then from what it felt like as she gets into the mid game, it felt like her PVP got absolutely stupid. So her downsides are her wave clear is just bad straight up. The way you clear waves reliably is you normally three on them, I think, or you can two on them, uh, get wave aggro and then use your one. Normally you're going to want to max the one because that's the only remotely consistent clear ability you're going to have in the kit. So we're going to try and take advantage of that if we can. But I thought we'd go like Soul Eater and uh, I don't even know what, like Shifters probably? Oh, that got a little buggy. You guys see that? Oh, <laughs> why do I hit you so hard? Oh, you have zero defense. You're just, I guess that makes sense. That's pretty normal Arthur build, isn't it? No Sigil, full Blue Stone. We do some damage, don't we? My God, we actually have our, our Soul Eater money because it's, it's kind of cheap. So we, I guess we legit just back right now. That's cool. Well, we're off to a good start versus the Arthur boys. God damn. He, uh, he literally just goofed. He got a little too aggressive level one, level two, and Arthur's not good level one, level two, especially if you go spin. Spin is really bad for the first rank and then gets acceptable from the second rank on. So he fought while he was really weak. And then within a few levels, he'll actually get strong, but, but he already goofed and gave us a first blood. So that's going to help a lot. Yeah. Little, little known Arthur tips, boys. Don't fight level two. Generally, it varies. It varies a little bit, but he is actually like significantly weaker during that phase. My God, if I didn't miss that, he would, he actually might have been a kill. Maybe, probably not. Probably wouldn't have been a kill. Look at all those juicy archers, archers stacked up together. You want a little silence here? We're actually going to yeah, put a little level in that just so that we get a little more damage right there because we do want to max the one. But, you know, when it turns into almost kill or potential kill, I don't mind swapping out an ability or a, uh, a rank right there. Might get ganked, man. I have no mana. Let's try and regen some health if we can. I might get absolutely mega brain here in a sec in pre-beads and Arthur cripple, but I don't think we do because it looks like he just went to blue. And Loki thinks I'm going to do my blue on my own like a big boy. I don't know about that. I think I'm going to spam ping my jungler. I think that's what's looking good to me right now. No, not really. <laughs> not really. We can do it. We can do it on our own. Although I feel like I just saw something and I don't know if I'm just losing my mind a little bit or if I did. It looks like I'm actually losing my mind a little bit. I saw I saw thought I saw something like right up here. I don't know what that was. I already got our soul eater like halfway stacked. Nice. OK, don't hurt me, please. Thank you. Bing. Damn, I was tripping super hard. I thought somehow we were getting 10 HP heals from killing 1 HP minions, but uh, <laughs> but we do have a health potion ticking and we were getting just 0 HP heals because they were so low. Getting actually no Why did you back? What are you possibly getting done already that you're backing? He can't finish an item yet, can we? Because I'm ahead and I couldn't finish anything. I don't know why he backed there. It's kind of a weird time. We're going to start putting points in the 1 because I do still want to, even though we got that one awkward little level in the 3 to go for kill right there. I do want to keep putting him in the one where we can, especially because Arthur can't possibly break our one unless he ults it. If he either, let's see, Arthur big ult is a banish technically, right? So that should break our one and then his other ult's a stun, but his his orange two is a knockup and that's not going to break it because our, uh, our one's knockup immune. Oh yeah, he literally, okay, well this is definitely a banish because he literally broke it just now. A little bit of damage on the man. Little, little baby bit of damage on the man, dead. Nice. Yeah, you think you get a fight as early game Arthur? You thought. You wish. You'd imagine thinking you can win lane on King Arthur. Psh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Every, everyone knows Arthur's not a solo lane god, right? He's not even good. You never see him every game in the SPL. Never. 
All right. Um, God, do we just build damage like an absolute Chad? I don't think so. I think we go a little shifter shield action. Yeah, I really want to try. I know I, I talked about this a little bit in a recent video is I really want to try going a tankier, but still damage clean a build and see how it feels because I haven't gotten a proper late game on one at all and, and see if it's good. So far, we're managing pretty well in this lane with just the Soul Eater before it's even stacked. So that's actually surprising. Um, but I do think if he hadn't goofed, if he was a little more comfortable in the matchup, I think it'd be a lot harder. And we basically, we would have had a fine first few levels while Arthur was kind of scaling up a bit. And then he would have bullied for a bit. And then around now, as we get our soul leader done, uh, we would have started to compete a bit back. Get zoomy. Yeah, I really just do half this man's health and he's actually still reasonably tanky already. See, if we can get his dashes down, I think we ult him. Whoops. You want to run into that? No, you don't. <laughs> nice. We actually got some... Uh, I love that part of Kleena's kit. We can just kind of wall the man off from going that way. Because it hits... Why are you back here, big minion? Stop it. It hits so... Oh, hi. Whoops. Uh-oh. Kind of potatoed. Plus, we won first. That's big value. I think she potatoed too, right? I didn't take much damage. We're not very tanky. Nice. I did, uh, the Jing did ask, I don't think me, but just in general, the team to clap this Kleena, because apparently it's, what do you say, cousin? I don't know. I think he said she's his, his cousin. So, uh, yeah, that's why we killed her. <laughs> There's definitely no other motives, right? We definitely just got to kill his cousin. And look at this, 95 power already. Oh, baby. Gonna be chonking. I think Shifters is an item I've been underrating for a while, man. I actually really, really like it right now. Um, I've been really feeling we're probably going to do another solo video very soon. I actually have been trying to record it today, but servers have been bad with Tear. So, um, like, I'm, I'm down to play today, but Tear is just a character that... If you get la if you get server lag, Tear gets real hard to play. And it's just been triggering me because it keeps, like, I keep getting my cancels, like, inter or my, uh, my combos interrupted by lag, basically. Which sucks. But I want to do, like, a Sigil high damage build to show off what you can do with it. And uh, I think there's a bunch of like, just very aggressive solo builds right now where you can squeeze in a shifter's early game and I think it's actually really, really good. Cause you get, you actually get prots when you need it, but you get a lot of power when you need it too. And it helps so much for doing a lot of damage early. It just gives you a lot of potential to actually win the lane. The one thing that's been bugging me lately when I play solo is if I don't go a damage build, it just feels like I don't have enough influence on the game. And it's one thing when you're getting more competitive games, but especially when we're queuing casuals or if it's like a not very well made like ranked lobby or something, um, which is a lot of them, right? Then it like it feels bad to go uh, defense and build and build meta, you know? They did say enemies in the left jungle, so I'm not going to commit too hard. Otherwise, we would have dashed on the man right there. But instead, we'll just poke him real hard. I say as he's mostly full health. <laughs> oh, we tried to cancel it. Oh, Arthur, you're getting a little greedy, man. Yeah, you might have a jungler and all, but I don't really care that much. God, we got some juicy ults right there. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh, my God. I'm actually a little bit sad that Loki ganked. Not because he did anything wrong, but because I think we would have 1v2'd. I think I would have clapped him no problem. Kleena shouldn't have caught up to us. We should have been able to kill him on the dive. And then I think we would have killed Kleena on our own. And now he ruined that content. And my ego's a little bit diminished from where it could be. God damn it. That's okay. We can get Loki some kills. It's fine. I suppose. I suppose. Soul Eater's feeling pretty good on clean. I know I've gotten some comments to uh, to go Soul Eater on her. I'm probably just not going to build Soul Eater on her in the jungle. I think generally Soul Eater's just a bad jungle item. Um, just because... Like, it can be a good item on junglers, but just when you're jungling, you want to just burst really hard, have big impact on fights. Man. Come here, please. Oh my, she actually lives. God damn it, dude. The two didn't AoE on her. That sucks. Oh, we might get to kill Kronos here. Oh, if only, if only. I thought he ulted already. I thought I'd heard him use it. Nice, we got the slow off. I don't think it matters, but... <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I was trying to peel for more for Merlin, if we could. Okay, let's see. I want to save the dash here. Oh, I guess, or we can just run away. I'm not using my passive. How many times could I have used passive already? I'm literally not thinking about it. Because this is my first clean a game in a minute. Do I kill you, or is this just terrible? Oh, we kill her. We don't kill her. What am I saying? And we're dead. Damn, I didn't get out of that, huh? Might have a question about that one, hi res. <laughs> no, that's fine. We probably were in that. What do we build next? Do I just go Ansel? This game would get so much easier if I could Ansel on Kronos. But I don't know if it's important or not. God, that fight was so dumb. We realistically should have left that fight forever ago, but, you know... We weren't dying for the longest time, and I just kind of had fun with it, so I figured why not, we'll just keep going. Realistically, we should have just left and farmed after, uh, who was it that died? Somebody died. Merlin, I think? Yeah. Whenever, whenever Arthur ran at Merlin and then killed him, we should have just left. Grab a blink, I think. Bing. I don't know what sort of upgrade I want to go this game, I just wanted to rush Soul Eater super hard. Yeah, murder this man. He might get the blue buff, that's okay. But as long as he gets absolutely dumpstered for it, that's what matters. Oh, we got it too. Oh my god, yes. Yes, Jing, daddy. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna ult him too? <laughs> no, no, none of that, none of that. Come here. Damn, Arthur really going for the blue, huh? You guys know what's up with Sav on, like, specifically Arthur? I understand building Sav... Whoops, I didn't even mean to do that. Um, I understand building Sav in the soul lane, but do you happen to know... Does anyone know why people specifically build it on Arthur? Because I don't get it. I feel like the only time I see it ever in solo is on Arthur players. And I genuinely don't understand why. Because Sov's just like a, it's like a concept of an item that you can build on basically anybody. It's just like defense and sustain for a cheap price. <laughs> and I don't understand why people specifically build it on him over like Mystical. Every other character people build Mystical, but there's a ton of Sov Arthurs. Maybe that's just how they build an SPL and I haven't paid attention, I don't know. Some people just copy super hard. As is tradition. Man, why do they rotate to their team? Okay, stop. Wait, what? Okay, stop. Check this out, boys. Oh my god, we're getting some juicy damage. That was absolutely nasty. Their entire team is trying to kill me, so we might be dead. But that was gross. Damn, their entire team is not succeeding. They're literally trying to five-man on me. <laughs> oh my god, and we have passive up. Get him. Nice. Okay, can we get a big ult on Arthur? Do we even need to? Beat his ass. Okay, I want to not get Kronos 3 Oh my god, man. We are putting in work right now. That wall right there was disgusting. That was actually really good. Hit so many people with ult plus the one. It was an interesting cleanup game. It feels really different right now because so often the fights we're getting into are either brawly fights where it's just, you know, us fighting another tanky boy or they're uh, team fights where we have a different role than normal because I'm not just trying to straight up like pick people 1v1 because we're built, we're built pretty different, right? So I'm actually liking it a lot. It's pretty fun. It feels so much different. It's so much more general damage and let's just burst someone really hard and kill them. But it's still going well. It's still doing good stuff. Alright, what to build? What to build? I think I might just go a mantle. Ooh, void? Probably go void, actually. It's just kind of nasty. So I think we're probably going to go void and then mantle and then just straight up like some sort of really good starter upgrade, which I'm not sure which that'll be. Hidden Blade? <laughs> it's not normally a solo starter upgrade, but it should be a good starter upgrade. Although, I don't know. The way we're playing this game, it might not make much sense. I don't want to build Bumba Spear, because that's already what I build on her in jungle. That'll be boring. 
I could try a Bumpus Hammer. It actually might not be terrible. I just don't know if I need it at all. But it could be fun. It could be really obnoxious. Actually go for some auto cancels on a tankier cleaner build. Do they though? I don't think these walls have eyes. Well, you're not having it? Arthur, come on, man. Hold up. Bing. Wait. Oh, I trolled. Oh, no, dude. Oh, I was trying to button mash because I was silenced, and of course I get trolled by it. <laughs> I think we actually live if I didn't end up canceling it from the button mashing. God damn it, dude. I actually, if I beads it all in that fight, instead of being greedy, I thought we could auto her through the silence, and it ended up, she ended up being like out of range or I missed or something. If I just beads and press an ability, we live so easily there. It got so messy because I was greedy. But that's okay. We still get a pick 1v2. I'm down. Even though I did kind of kind of choke my own life right there. Yeah, what the hell is possibly good, man? I don't think Infuse Sigil is going to do much. I actually, ooh, maybe we do go Sigil and we just go it late. Maybe, you know what? Yeah, I actually think I might because the stats on it are really good. That's the main reason I've been building it. The passive mostly sucks. I assumed that I would be playing Kleena too passively to uh, to get many Sigil procs, but this game, it feels like I can actually get a stupid amount of Sigil procs. I say stupid, there's still not that many. It's just hard. It takes so long to proc the passive. It's really not that many, but <laughs> I can probably get some, and that's something. So maybe we just go for that. I feel like upgraded uh, Bluestone Pendant's probably not going to be that good. I don't really like going Centering Axe without a tankier build. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll actually go Sigil late game. Which makes it a little bit troll that I didn't go at early game. That's fine. I'm coming, boys. Although I don't, I don't know, man. We might just go bump his hammer just because it's OP. <laughs> we might, we might. Hello. You gonna dash? No. Okay. Now where are you going? Where are you going? Shouldn't have gone that way. Kronos, I can walk into walls. Oh my god, that one was like extra zoomy, am I wrong? That one had some speed on it. Dude, I have to, I'm gonna replay that. That looked like an absolutely insanely fast dash. But I might just be tripping. Put on the speed hacks for that one, god damn. Okay, do we actually get away with this? They're dead for a while. We might actually get to do big FG. It's so early in the game for it, though. This is a cool build, man. I actually really hope... I hope I see some Kleena solos, man. Not some Kleena, hey, I want to play Kleena so badly, I play her solo and I feed a bit and take her away from the person that wants to play her jungle. Not those Kleena solos, but, like, the genuinely trying to play her solo Kleena solos. You know what I mean? Because you get a lot of that with, with new gods. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. Oh, they just F6 it, huh? Yeah, I can't blame him. God damn it, man. I want to get a longer clean of solo game. I want to get a longer game so badly. But I'm running out of time today, so we got to upload the short one for now, and we'll try and get another one soon. That's too bad, man. My upload schedule has been all messed up. We're uploading, I'm uploading a couple of, like, games that aren't super ideal. Like, I'd love to at least do a part two for this one, but I literally don't have time to upload a part two today. So we're going to have to upload it short as is. But... It's because uh, literally like basically the entirety of yesterday, I was pretty much gone and I haven't had videos saved up. So it's gotten a little messy. Look at the damage, man. Holy shit. We did 24K in 18 minutes. Jesus, man. But now that I'm actually like not having things that I'll be doing all day, I'm hoping we can get some videos uh, like backed up and we can start getting some longer games again. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.